If you saw a street cleaned by a broom, and if you did not see the hand sweeping it, would you believe if the whole world claimed that the broom swept the street on its own? Definitely not. You would laugh at this claim because it is necessary to have life in order to sweep the street. A being that has no life cannot sweep it. As a matter of fact, the broom has no life. The one that sweeps must have strength. However, the broom has no strength. The one that sweeps must have will. It needs to prefer sweeping to not sweeping. As a matter of fact, the broom has no will. Along with those attributes, the broom needs to know how to sweep. It needs to have mercy. Pity the inhabitants of that street. Have wisdom and understand what is useful. It should have many other attributes. However, the broom has none of those attributes. Therefore, even if we do not see the hand that holds the broom, we associate that wise activity with a doer that has those attributes. That we do not see the hand does not indicate its non-existence. On the contrary, that wise activity indicates its existence. Since cleaning a small street cannot be attributed to a broom, how can cleaning the world, which is one of the streets of the universe, be attributed to causes which are like the broom? Yes, this universe and this world are large factories. Guest houses and inns that are filled and emptied every moment. However, those busy factories, inns and guest houses become very dirty with debris and refuse. A person cannot remain inside and will choke if they are not cleaned and maintained carefully. However, this universe's factory and this world's guest house are so immaculate, clean, and unpolluted that an unbeneficial particle and a coincidental piece of dirt cannot be found within them. If it is found, then it gets cleaned quickly. This shows that this factory has an owner who is able to clean this huge factory and palace like one cleans and sweeps a tiny room. If a person does not bathe for a month and does not clean and sweep his or her room for the same amount of time, then both the person and the room become very dirty and filthy. This shows that the purity and cleanliness that take place in the castle of this universe result from a sapient and careful cleaning. If that constant amount of cleaning and careful maintenance did not take place, then within one year, the 100 million nations of every animal species would choke on the earth. The debris of the stars in the sky would cause death, and rocks the size of mountains would rain on our heads. However, this universe has been washed with the manifestation of God's name, al Kudos, the Pure One, and the cleanliness of the universe is one witness of God's presence. Come and look at this universe more carefully. Behold the seas. Every day thousands of fish die, yet you never see a corpse. 
Behold the forests. Hundreds of thousands of animals live within them, and every day thousands are born and thousands die. Yet there are no signs of filth. Behold the air. There are dozens of poisonous gases, yet none of them smears the air. Behold the space. When we look at the space, we do not see any trash. Is it possible that this cleaning is a work of coincidence? Could a person who has not lost his mind think that this sapient cleaning results from the aforementioned pretext or from nature itself? Oh, person who dares to deny God, get your mind straightened out and if you do not hear the voice of the great universe, then come and listen to the words of one leaf and see what it says. It says, look at me. Notice my cleanliness. Look at the windows of the houses on the street and notice that if they are not cleaned within one to two weeks, every inch becomes dusty and dirty. However, you cannot see this kind of dirt and dust either on me or on other leaves. Does our cleanliness not ever capture your attention? Do you not ever think about who cleans us.